You can host a royal edition of the Jeremy Kyle Show with all this material. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scandals in the royal family. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. From fancy dress Nazis to high profile affairs, there's been no shortage of controversies with the British royal family. For this list, we take a look at the most shocking and scandalous stories of the 20th and 21st centuries. Number 10. Diana's Death We have reports from Paris that Diana, Princess of Wales, has been killed in a car accident. In 1997, the nation mourned for Diana, Princess of Wales, when she was killed in a car crash in Paris. Officially, the blame fell on Diana's driver, who's reportedly working under the influence of alcohol, and on the pursuing paparazzi. However, there have been plenty of conspiracy theories since, with claims that Diana's death was somehow orchestrated from inside the royal family itself. But now Scotland Yard is looking into a new claim, that Princess Diana and her boyfriend Dodi Fayed were actually murdered. This entry is mired in speculation only, but the rumors underpinned ongoing ill feeling toward the palace at the turn of the century. Number 9. Prince George, Duke of Kent Living more like a rock star than a royal, Prince George, Duke of Kent was actually fifth in line for the throne, as the younger brother of Edward VIII and George VI. He was a high-ranking member of the royal family, whose outrageous private life had been a source of damaging rumour and scandal. Employing a mantra that a lessened chance of becoming king meant less responsibility, Queen Elizabeth's uncle lived a life of controversy as a supposed sex and cocaine addict with rumoured Nazi sympathies. He eventually met his end in a plane crash in Scotland, though conspiracy theories again suggest foul play. Hmm, there may be a pattern forming here. Number 8. Kate Middleton's Uncle Taking the crazy uncle stereotype and turning it up to 12, Gary Goldsmith has caused all sorts of problems since Kate Middleton married Prince William. The multimillionaire has previously been caught offering drugs and prostitutes to undercover news reporters, and he was at the centre of scandal in 2017 when he hit his wife in the face during a drunken fight. It's an extended family connection that royals definitely won't want you to know about. Number 7. Prince Philip's Tour As covered in Series 2 of The Crown, Prince Philip toured on the Britannia in 1956, opening the Melbourne Olympic Games and visiting the Antarctic. Keep fit! Don't drink all the bloody beer! <laughs> but while large parts of the trip were a success, press coverage focused on Philip's friend and private secretary, Mike Parker, who was sensationally sued for divorce. With countless rumours circulating of other affairs on the trip, Philip's own marriage appeared under pressure, prompting a rare statement from the palace denying a rift between the Queen and the Duke. Not everyone was convinced, though. I've learned more about humiliation in the past few weeks than I hoped I would in a lifetime. Number 6. Princess Margaret Where to begin? In the 50s, the proposed marriage between Princess Margaret, the Queen's younger sister, and Peter Townsend was deemed unthinkable, because Townsend was previously divorced. So, that didn't happen. Instead, Margaret married a photographer, with varying levels of royal approval, but she reportedly had a string of affairs with high-profile figures and celebrities. There were also rumours of a lesbian lover and occasional drug use, not forgetting the nudes of her that nearly leaked. She definitely had a wild side. Number 5. Prince Philip's Casual Racism Casual racism is one thing, but this time, you've bitten off more than you can chew. Another entry for Philip, but what could possibly top rumoured infidelity at the Queen's expense? How about consistent allegations of racism? Elizabeth's not-so-better half has a storied history of making inappropriate comments in public, usually aimed at different nationalities and cultures like the time he said the Philippines was half empty because everyone had already moved to the UK, or when he asked whether a bearded man was a terrorist, or when he said this about some British students studying in China. If you stay here much longer, you will go back slitty-eyed. We could go on. Number 4. Prince Andrew Accusations There really haven't been many more serious allegations levelled at the royal family than this one, as in 2015, Prince Andrew was accused of having non-consensual sex with a teenager. Allegations that Prince Andrew, second son of the Queen, brother to heir Prince Charles, had sex with a 17-year-old girl. An American woman made the claim regarding Prince Charles' younger brother, saying her encounter with him was organized by Andrew's friend and convicted sex offender, Jeffrey Epstein, who's also said to have links with the likes of Kevin Spacey. As well as various others with very dodgy human rights records, let's be absolutely clear. The palace has labelled the story as categorically untrue, but calls remain for further investigations to be carried out. 
Number three, Hail Harry. Prince Harry's been responsible for various questionable antics over the years, but none more notorious or memorable than the time he was snapped sporting a Nazi uniform at a fancy dress party. Definitely not the wisest move, especially as his nan, the Queen herself, was also snapped making a Nazi salute as a child, and her uncle, Edward VIII, was a suspected Nazi sympathizer. All in all, it dwarfs anything else even Harry has done, including naked drinking games in Las Vegas, smoking weed, and filming himself using racially offensive language. Oh, a little packy friend. Number two, the abdication of Edward VIII. David, for dinner. I'm on with Wallace. As previously mentioned, Edward VIII was a controversial character in general, but his definitive moment came when he walked away from the crown, having worn it for less than a year. Edward sensationally abdicated so that he could marry two-time divorcee, the American socialite, Wallace Simpson. According to reports, the king wasn't especially fond of the royal way of life, and when the church forbade a union with the woman he loved, it was a simple decision to make. It may have been worth it too, as the couple remained happily married as Duke and Duchess of Windsor until Edward's death in 1972. A few hours ago, I discharged my last duty as king and emperor. Number one, Charles and Diana's affairs. And I said, I know what's going on between you and Charles, and I just want you to know that. Theirs was the wedding of the century, but Charles and Diana's marriage was far from happy, and their relationship problems were headline news the world over. Most issues surrounded Camilla Parker Bowles, Charles's first love, who he didn't have permission to marry back then because Camilla had been previously married. But Diana was also at the center of reported extramarital activity with James Hewitt, who's consistently rumored by conspiracy theorists to be Prince Harry's biological father. Are you Harry's father? No, I'm not. All in all, Charles and Diana became a sort of high-profile soap opera, with millions watching as scandal surrounded the heir to the throne. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.